Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and this is the fourth part of the video series of CI and CD for the Microsoft SQL database. In this video, we are going to create a Azure Release Pipeline for database deployment. To complete this exercise, we required a database. So we are going to create a blank database on Azure database service. So let's create it. So currently I am connected my Azure portal in the search data base. Select the SQL database. SQL database database name select the resource group create a blank database and go for server configuration give the server name so my server name will be demo class database and Server admin login and password. Location and check mark allow Azure service to access the database. Advanced. Data security. I selected not now. Go ahead and select it. Come back to the SQL database page. Want to use SQL Elastic Pool? Not now. And go for default value and click on create. A blank database is going to create on Azure SQL. Database services. Okay. Our deployment is completed. Click on SQL databases service. And a blank database has been created for us. Let's validate. Now you can connect and open this database in SQL Studio Management as well as Visual Studio. Also, you can run a query on this console. Click on Query Editor and Authorization Type. SQL Server Authentication, Login, Your Server, User Account, and Server Admin Password. I am successfully able to connect it. Click on Tables. It has zero tables zero reuse and zero stored procedures because we created a blank database now we are going to deploy our adventure works database from azure release pipeline to this database now go back to the azure devops service console and click on releases let's create a new release pipeline so i am going to create a simple release i am not going to include the multi stage or approval process i will add multi stage and approval process in separate video but in this video i am creating a 
simple release pipeline to deploy our database. Select a empty job template and give the name of this page. Dave database. Now add the artifacts. We are going to add the artifacts from build release. In previous, we created a build pipeline to create a artifacts. So we are using same artifacts in release pipeline. So select the build pipeline and we created non prod build for adventure works 2012 db in previous video default version is use the latest source alias choose the default and click on add Click on jobs and task, add task and search SQL deployment. Click on Azure SQL database deployment, click add it. Now we require to fulfill some of the requirement to complete this task. So click on it. Display name. You can use any display name. Deployment step number one. Azure service connection type is Azure Resource Manager. And Azure subscription. Go with your Azure subscriptions. Now you require to provide the information about your SQL database which we created just now. Use the authentication type. I am using the SQL Server authentication. Azure SQL Server. Get the Azure SQL Server information from the Azure portal. This is the server of SQL database. Click to copy and paste it. Database name. Get the database name also. Login. Give the SQL Server username which we created. In my case, it is Vagrant. And supply the password. Okay. Now we require to provide the deployment package. So deploy type. In this demonstration, we are using SQL backpack file which we created in build pipeline. Select the SQL backpack file, Excel, select the publish, click and select the backpack file location. This is the backpack file location. Click OK. Leave the blank publish profile. If you want to give the additional argument for SQL package.txt, you can give it. Firewall setting is auto detected. You don't require to take any action. Control option, it is enabled. 
you can use some other options like timeout, run this task, all the things, output variables. You can give the reference name if you want it. Save it. You know, you can look at other options also, variables. I'm okay with default value, retention policies, options, string. I'm okay with all default value and click on new release pipeline and change the headline of the release pipeline. Go ahead and save it. Now it is ready to release that tag file and deployment on SQL database. Let's create a release. Select the Dave database and give the release description. Click on create. Release one has been created. Click on it. Click on Dev database and go ahead and deploy. Click on deploy. It is in queued. Let's click on it. The agent is ready for the job. It is connecting. It is going to take some time to deploy the database. Deployment process has been started. So if you look at the logs, it is saying that initialization deployment start, initialization deployment completed. Now it is updating database with all the tables, views and uh, schemas. deployment has been completed and the complete process took around 16 minutes 58 seconds we just completed release to deploy our database on azure sql database let's verify let's go ahead and refresh it Okay, and click there. Click on Query Editor. Connect with your username and password. Click on Tables. You can see here these many tables have been deployed along with views.
and stock procedures. I just try to get a complete list of tables and views via PSQL query and uh, these are tables affected row is 92 so it is like uh, I can say uh, around 92 tables and uh, views has been deployed from release pipeline this is the complete demonstration of PI and CD on MSQL database environment. In the next video, I am going to demonstrate for day to day operation of MSQL where we are going to be update some of the tables and use via we are to sql script in ci and cd but for now that's all in this video thanks for watching have a nice day bye